morning keto followers welcome back to Laura's keto way of life so today I am starting week seven um, it's going fast uh, so today is Monday so I'm starting week seven of my keto journey and I'm just updating you today with the results from last week so week six okay so here we go week six went well I'm stuck to my healthy way of life you know the veggies and cheese and my three meals a day like I've been doing um, so it's been going good I've started doing the fasting again last week I tried to do not sorry not last week the week before I tried adding breakfast into it to see if it would speed up my metabolism to create you know faster weight loss see how I was through the day but all it did was create um, a really hungry monster and I couldn't stop eating. If I woke up and had breakfast early, I was starving for the rest of the day and just ate anything, keto food, but just nuts all the time, just grabbing handfuls of cheese, you know, carrot sticks, anything I could eat, I was eating if I woke up early and had breakfast. So I went back to last week having my breakfast at 11 a.m., break the fast. So I would finish my dinner at 7.30 that night wake up make make my lunch for the day and not eat again till around 11 a.m um which yeah so so that went good um the food cravings you know weren't as bad as when i was waking up and having breakfast so um yeah so i was having my meals at 11 a.m 2 p.m and 7 p.m um of course sometimes i would have some nuts or a handful of grated cheese or something in the afternoon while I was preparing dinner or if I got a bit hungry I know people saying um, on keto I don't know why you're having snacks Laura you shouldn't be hungry on keto you should you know be eliminating another meal you should only be up to about two meals a day now I thought but I don't know what it is maybe I'm not having enough fats or um, you know not enough protein or something maybe but I'm still getting hungry in that afternoon so I'm still having a handful of um, macadamia nuts or something like that so um yes the week went good um, I didn't get any exercise in because I've been busy cleaning events at work so I stayed at my desk and ate lunch on my lunch breaks I was sleeping good I was going to bed about 10 o'clock so a bit later last week had a bit of broken sleep so some nights it might have been about 11 30 at night I was going to bed and instead of my usual 9 30 10 o'clock um, I had a five kilometer fun run with friends on Saturday, which was really good. I was excited to do it on keto. So I woke up in the morning and normally before any fun runs or anything like that, I stuffed myself silly with food or bacon and eggs and, and food galore like that. Um, but I thought, you know, I'm gonna see how I go on keto and you know, see how my fitness and energy levels go. So I got up in the morning, um, got to the, fun run at eight o'clock and we did our five kilometer fun run so it took about an hour and a half and it was good lots of um climbing and you know jumping over things and carrying heavy weights and things like that and by the time we finished you know i wasn't starving i wasn't exhausted i wasn't hungry i wasn't craving sugar um i felt i felt like bacon and eggs actually which was interesting so um the fun run was good um i had a lot of energy and stamina through the race so it, it was good I went home and made a big bacon and egg lunch though at 12 30 and then headed off to a party with the family where um it was good there was lots of cheese options they had a big meat barbecue and lots of salads so I was fine there um one night of the week that I must say last week um we just wanted to have you know an easy night uh, I felt I did feel really really I was craving chocolate so I was like can we just have ice cream for dinner or can we just have chocolate for dinner and that was what the old me would have done I would have brought a box of Malte Maltese's chocolates and I would have just sat down the whole night and just eaten 400 grams of chocolate for dinner and then I would have felt sorry and bad for myself the next day so I thought no I'm not going back to those old ways we'll actually go buy something nice for dinner and we did so we did actually go to Chinese and everyone's like oh no chemicals MSG yeah. but I thought it was the better option out of you know KFC you know um, whatever else we're looking at pizza Italian pastas and things like that so I just got a 
salty short, short soup for my entree and for my main I had a chicken and vegetable chow mein with noodles so I don't think it was that bad I could actually really taste the sweetness in the sauce though so I know there might have been a lot of sugar in the sauce so that was a bit of a setback but I thought you know it's I've been you no know, nearly two months now in keto and I haven't you know been bad for a while so I thought I'm just gonna do one meal I've got my 5k event on the weekend I'm sure I'll burn it off and see how we go so yep yeah, so that was really nice I enjoyed every mouthful of the Chinese for dinner um, and as I said that was the only bad meal that I had the whole of last week um, I wasn't you know eating chocolate I wasn't having potatoes I didn't you know have any bad carbs I didn't have any bread I just had that Chinese dinner for one night so you know we're human we do need to get out and spoil ourselves even though I should have restrained myself but you know it happened I'm not gonna not gonna dwell on it um, yeah so over the weekend I've discovered my love for cherry tomatoes a new food I can add to my eating group I used to hate tomatoes hate the smell of them oh, I couldn't even taste stand the juices I was like oh this is gross but at the part the party that we went to they actually had a nice rocket salad with bocconcini cheese and other cheese I had never tried um, so it was rocket salad uh, spinach baby bocconcini cheese and baby tomatoes with a little bit of olive oil and balsamic dressing and it was really really nice I was like oh tomatoes actually taste all right so I've added tomatoes to my new food list and yeah I'm, I'm happy to eat the little cherry tomatoes what a great little snack they are and so tasty and juicy just great for coming into summer so that's my new food of the week that I found that I enjoy is the cherry tomatoes that was they were really nice actually so I'm gonna start making a lot of salads with cherry tomatoes and and baby bocconcini cheese in it as well which is good so yeah so we had a good week um, as I said hopefully my sleep will be better this week less stress from work um, and that's the other thing my body's been up and down with stress lately organizing these events and and planning things like that so I know body doesn't really work, run well on that um, yesterday I just rested up after the fun run my body was a bit aching my arm muscles from all the climbing um, my body muscles were a bit sore yesterday so we just sat around the house we didn't get out didn't do any exercise um, watched some movies I ate a lot of salads, a lot of cheese. Um, what else did we pretty much eat? Um, we had bacon and eggs for breakfast, and dinner last night was a bit of fish and more salad. So, yeah, we didn't sit around and eat the normal junk food that we used to back in the old days. Okay, so weigh in time. <laughs> last week on the scales, I was 69.1 kilos. This morning, I jumped on the scales and. I was 70.0 so that's a gain of 900 grams I don't know why uh, my brain's like see you shouldn't have had that Chinese food what were you thinking now you've put on 900 grams um, so of course I've only got myself to blame I don't know where the weights come from um, it is it is very disheartening I guess because when I started keto way of life six seven weeks ago I weighed 72 kilos and in two months I wanted to be down to 65 kilos but I just keep going back up I keep bouncing back up to that 70 kilo mark um, surely I've you know I'm not eating sugars I'm not overflowing with carbs I'm still having about 35 grams of carbs a day um, it's, it's so hard because my brain is telling me Laura when you were dieting last year on just you know fruit and sandwiches you're losing weight so easily so it, it's hard because a part of me is saying this keto is it really working or are you just pouring fat into your body and, and not eating all your fruits and things that you that you love is it really worth it so at the moment I'm in a bit of a cloudy head space to think like what am I doing wrong on keto why is my weight going down one week but then jumping up a kilo the next week um, is it because of the Chinese food? Is it because I'm eating too much bacon and, and cheese? Like, what's the go? Before, when I wanted to lose weight coming into summer, I would just be living off fruit and salad sandwiches, and I was losing weight fine. And, you know, eating 
light meals like mashed potato and steak for dinner and, and the weight was coming off but at the moment I'm, I'm not sure if I you know my calories are around 1600 calories a day um, I do you know eat cheese and, and nuts as, as snacks but that's about it that's the only snacking I do so I'm a bit down this morning um, the measurements have stayed the same my bust is still the same my waist has gained 3.5 centimeters and my hips have stayed the same so whether it's you know sitting around at home yesterday and just eating a lot of salads and you know cheese but it's still in my system and I've got to wait a couple of days for it all to you know whoosh around and come out but yeah it's just hard that you know I've cut out so much from this in this diet I've cut out all sugars and I've cut out my breads and my pastas and my sandwiches and I'm living off veggies and salad and and meat and I haven't even had any milk I like I used to have two glasses of milk a day and I haven't even had that and yet the weight is not really moving very good I'm not I'm not sure am I supposed to be doing more exercise should I be running more um, yeah so it's a bit of a sad morning this morning it's making me feel as if you know I've cut out all this food and the weight's not really going that far it's not moving much so we'll see how we go uh, maybe I need to cut down my meals have smaller salads and things like that but you know it's just all leafy greens I'm eating tomatoes spinach leaves mixed salad leaves and you know lettuce Nothing else I can really cut down on it. I'm not adding nuts or anything to the salads. The dressings are just olive oil with sometimes a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Um, I'm cooking with my butter and coconut oil. Um, my omelettes are just two eggs with bacon pieces and a bit of mozzarella cheese. My dinner is just steak and two handfuls of um, green beans or spinach, broccoli. Why isn't it, you know, why isn't it not moving along that fast? I don't understand. And everyone's like, just check your measurements. You'll be happy with your measurements. I am checking my measurements. They're going down, but very slowly. Well, except for the waist this week. The waist went up. Um, but surely one, one naughty meal this week can't just throw me out of whack, can it? <sighs> All right, keto followers. That's my weekly update for week six i'm going to start week seven now and see how we go i promise i'm not going to go oh I just fall off the bandwagon and just go binge on chocolate all day today but my mind is at the moment saying what are we doing wrong is this even working should we just go back to eating our you know cornflakes and salad sandwiches and you know baked beans on toast we're losing weight that way and and you know pants weren't as tight so I hope everyone else had a good week and let me know how you're going and any new recipes I'll be interested to try. And yeah, I shall update you through the week if I have any more information. Okay guys, this is me signing out. Don't forget to check out my website www.laurasketowayoflife.com for any more updates and recipes and tips. Have a great week guys and I'll talk to you later.